I have a tiny video clip of my dog running in the park. I can preview that clip in the finder. Here it is. Here she comes, and boom, she's gone. And that's about the end of it. Nearly. I'd like to trim that video clip so that all I see is the part of the dog running towards the camera. I'm going to open my video clip with QuickTime Player. Here it is. Now what I can do is I can actually trim out the bits that aren't interesting at the beginning and the end of the movie. What I'm going to do is come to the Edit menu and choose Trim. This brings up a special uh, heads-up display at the bottom with some sliders on it and it's filling in the intermediate parts of the movie clip for me. I can drag the left hand slider and as I do that the video moves and shows me what I want to see. Here I am, the dog's just coming into the shot. Now it was really the end of the movie that had a whole lot of stuff I didn't want so I'm going to go to the right hand end and drag that backwards. We're going in reverse here, back, back, back and Here's the point where the dog has just run out of the shot. I'm just going to fine tune that by dragging it back towards the right to make sure that she has gone from the shot. And there. This part here, highlighted with the yellow outline, is the part that I want to keep. The rest of it is junk. I don't want it. I want to trim that away. I'm now going to click the Trim button. And that other part has been removed. Let's just play my finished video. Dog coming through, towards the camera and away, and that's the end. At this point I would save the video and then perhaps even send it to YouTube for all that it's worth. That's how to trim a movie with QuickTime Player using QuickTime Player version 10.